welcome back to the Ange Endeavor. I'm down here at the ferry terminal and I'm going to be heading over to Seattle because I have a, a doctor appointment and I've been putting it off and putting it off but today I just thought you know what I really really want to go and I've checked out all the ferry precautions and everything like that and um, you know they limit very few and and all of that so um, so I've got my trusty mask and I'll be heading on the ferry and I'll show you the pretty boat ride from here to Seattle all right let's get going so here we are at the ferry terminal waiting to board the ferry and I hear that uh, they only limited so many people on the ferry and believe me this is the 845 uh, ferry run and it's usually packed but as you can see there's hardly anybody here which is a good thing it means everybody's working from home and staying safe to board. Look what a beautiful day it is. It's supposed to be in the upper 70s today. Isn't that cool? Pretty fairy. I haven't seen you in two months. Good morning. You too. Happy Friday to you. You too. See, they have large portions of this cordoned off, like every other several booths. You can sit, which is quite nice. Oh, this is so nice to be getting out. You guys all know being stuck at home. And I think if we practice, you know, wearing our masks and um, safe dis distancing and wearing our gloves, I think we should be okay, honestly. That's what I think. There's another ferry right there, nicely docked. Look at that beautiful water and the way the sun glistens. Now, when I checked uh, the ferry schedule, they, you know, have limited boat rides uh, back and forth um, and limited passengers. So uh, it's, it's nice to know that they're really, you know, adhering to practicing safety and all of that. Side, no one's outside, so that's nice. Uh, sometimes the mask can be a little confining. You know how it is. But um, I just wanted to show you how super cool and amazing it is over here. Harry's getting ready to take off. While I'm over on the other side in Seattle, I'm, I'm going to do a little grocery shopping. I have to pick up a few things. And uh, I have a really close friend who you've seen in vlogs before. She's going to pick me up, and she's somebody that I thoroughly trust. She totally practices safety and all of that, and she doesn't see anyone. So she's going to pick me up, and we're going to go. You know, I figure since I go to the store over here, and it's usually a zoo in the store, I should be okay over there, you know. Plus, I don't do this very often. I think that we have to consider... The frequency in which we go out. If we're going out all the time and every day and being in crowds, yeah, you don't want to do that. But if you're going out once in a great while and you have your protective gear, I think you should be fine, you know? Because, like they said, they, they don't want us to not go and do the things that we need to do, you know? Now, the doctor appointment I'm going to is a chiropractor and uh, I've been having neck issues lately 
um, and I need to get it adjusted because it's uh, causing me great discomfort. Now my chiropractor, you know, since I've lived in Seattle most of my adult life, I've been seeing my chiropractor since, geez, for like, you know, 15 years. So, um, so today I decided to go, I called the chiropractor, they see very, very few patients, um, you know, he, he wears a mask and all of that and uh, they sanitize the whole place. So she said that, um, or they said that when they see a client, they space it out so nobody else is in the office. So it's, it's kind of nice that way. And so I figure, you know, I might not go for another month because we're talking about the frequency thing, but I figure I want to at least get this adjustment to help me feel better in the, you know, short run. And then I just have to practice better posture because part of the reason my neck got out of whack again was because I was on the computer a lot, jutting my head forward. You know how that goes. You're sitting on the computer and, um, and it's not good for your, for your, for your spine to do it long periods of time. Now we're moving. Isn't this cool? start having really warm weather like today is going to be 77 and I think it's going to be in the 80s in the next two days and I know for those of you who live in warm client climates nothing that's nothing right but for us woohoo! I mean it's May and it's barely getting warm so it, it's been a really long cold winter and um, I know that my my plants are going to be excited I still have to go get some more dirt and more pots. There are two zucchinis and some onions and all those corns that have to get planted. So I ran out of dirt and I ran out of pots. And uh, so I'm gonna take care of that um, maybe over the weekend. But for today, we are gonna have a Seattle fun day or within reason because I can't go to any cool cafes and I can't go to any restaurants. So, you know, it's kind of a doing a necessary necessary thing today anyways we will see you as we get to the other side it's like we're coming into the city look at that skyline there's the space needle there you are hi space needle what a gorgeous day Tell you, it's nice to be wearing shorts again. We are coming in. I just can't tell you how excited I am to be coming here to Seattle again. It's going to be a fun day. How beautiful it is out there. It's amazing.
so this is the walkway from the ferry terminal. Right. Look at the beautiful foliage here and the trees. Seattle's such a beautiful city. Look at this uh, beautiful alleyway. This beautiful old building. I believe it was built in the turn of the century or late 1800s even. Amazing. Meanwhile, continue walking. It's nice to get out and take a walk, isn't it? God, there's like literally no one out here, hardly. And believe me, for a Friday, there would be people out here be hustling and bustling. All these businesses are closed. I'm thinking. Starbucks looks like it's open. Yep, they are open. Looks like you have to call in. Hi. So you place an order and then you go in and come out? So it looks like that Starbucks is open, but what you have to do is you have to download the Starbucks app, order on there, and then you go to the front and they'll bring you your coffee. But, you know, that's not too bad. Better than nothing, right? Here at the PCC, and what PCC is, um, it's a well-known grocery store in Seattle called, it's really called Puget Consumer Co-op. And it's been around for a long time, but over the last 10 years, it's gotten really big. And they sell mostly organic and local uh, food. And uh, so, I really wanted to come here and grab a few things. I'm done with my appointment with my chiropractor, so uh, we'll see what we're gonna get. of different kinds of eggs. Let's see what we're gonna get. Hmm. Stiper's organic, large white eggs. Hmm. Choices, choices. All right. So I decided to go with the PCC brand pasture and organic eggs because they're not that expensive. They're only like five something for a dozen and uh, they're really quite lovely look at those so some of the others are nice but they're very expensive and they're locally grown so some turkey breast cottage cheese bacon can't go wrong there so pcc's god i remember coming to my first pcc's PCC's has been around for a long time. I remember coming to my first PCC back in 1989, and it was uh, in a neighborhood called Capitol Hill, and it was a tiny little store, and it had some local organic, uh, you know, produce and, you know, everything you need, you know, meat and eggs and all kinds of other products. And now it's grown into a big, huge local chain. 
and it's really quite amazing and I like it way better than Whole Foods. Well, I'm back from Seattle and it's actually the next day. And I want to tell you, I had a lot of fun visiting Seattle and um, being able to see my very dear friend who picked me up from the ferry and took me to my chiropractor appointment. And then she was kind enough to take me to the grocery store. And we went to that Puget uh, Consumers Co-op, which is one of my favorite grocery stores in Seattle because it's pretty much an all organic store. It's way better than Whole Foods. And uh, as I said before, and uh, I, I also set up an, another appointment to go back in three weeks to see my chiropractor. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get another vlog in. So I figured that, you know, there's neighborhoods I can wander around and it still can be safe and, and all of that. So anyways, with that said, um, it's been a while since I've shown you what the plants are doing and what I've done since the last vlog on the plants. So let's go and check it out. Okay, so this is the status on the corns. I think the corns are just about ready to be planted, but look at how much they've grown. Quite nice. So they're really ready to get planted and uh, I've prepared uh, a place for them outside and I'll show you that in a second here. And here, um, I've got the onions are really coming up, the kales are really coming up, and we got the basils. And everybody is, I need to, I need to thin these out, and I need to thin those out and transport everybody into their little pots. Okay, so this is where I have, I actually dug up the sod here. And then I turned the dirt and then I put some uh, soil conditioner, uh, some new potting soil and, uh, and compost. And these are where the corns are gonna go. I was gonna do them in pots and containers, but um, the more I read, it's like, yeah, they need more space and I'd have to get way more pots. And so I thought, you know what? You know, this is gonna be the better uh, choice. And so, it was a hard work and let me tell you and there's the the sod there i have to take that and and uh, move it to the back and i guess when you turn sod over like that and you move it to the you know you move it to an area it basically just turns into dirt that's what one of my uh, really close friends had uh, told me so it turns into dirt and you'll have a nice little mound of dirt so it's really quite amazing look at what our peas are doing they're really coming up beautifully look at that and our potatoes have not poked up yet. They're still in there doing their thing. So I have the soil still. I have um, some compost as well. And uh, I just need to plant the other plants that I just showed you in uh, pots. So we'll do that later on though. And this is my little jalapeno plant. And seems to be doing quite nice it's uh it's doing well so that's good plants looking really really good it's really growing in nice my heirloom tomato look at how big that's gotten since a couple of weeks ago and these two romas they're growing fantastic and here we have Here's those four zucchinis. Look at how much they've grown since the last vlog. And the cucumbers, they're really coming up nice. Now, when I first uh, replanted them, they were out in direct sun and they, they were not having a good time. We did actually happen to have a couple of days of 80 degree heat, which of course I loved. I loved it, but they weren't so happy about it. So I pulled them off to the side of the house here where uh, it got more shade, but it got afternoon sun and they seem to really like it here. So I think that this is where they're going to stay for now. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I have. 
and I know I will be seeing you again really soon. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and we will see you later. Bye. You said your last goodbye. You will no longer make me cry. Ah, 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 baby, it was a long, cold winter. How could I find a cure for chilly?